right, all right, all right. Libra. What it be, bruh? It's, it's Mira. It is She-Ra. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again one time for the one time. Yes, indeed. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all of my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. Thank you guys for coming through and spending some time with your boo. Okay? So, um, I just want to make sure that every last one of you guys are feeling fine and festive and ready for this spring uh, season, you guys like things are opening up and blossoming and I just hope that everyone is ready and just has their windows open getting that fresh air letting that natural sunlight come in I hope that you guys are really enjoying and appreciating the elements and the change of the season right now because things are starting to wake up and liven up so I hope that you guys are starting to awaken and you know ready to step, step outside and step into your blessings as well so I want to, um, again, uh, if there's anyone that would like to book a personal private reading, if you guys would like to reach out to me to talk to me, if any of these videos resonate and you just want to send some love and support to the channel, go ahead, click the description box of this video, or you can check out the About tab on my YouTube page. Um, the best way to get in contact with me to book a personal contact, uh, 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 to book a personal reading is to message me on Instagram or to email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. Libra, you already know how we always do. We always give Father God like acknowledgement, uh, just give him praise and just, you know, give him his flowers right now before we get into any messages or anything like that. So we just want to just take some time out and just, you know, give God his blessings and just, you know, give him praise. So bow your head with me father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of libra you already know where to be with us father god we out here searching and just preparing ourselves for greatness father god we're careful planners we're logical thinkers father god and we just want to make sure that we are just using every single ounce of our just energy just our strength just our power our determination and just continue to keep forging ahead father god we don't mind putting that extra work in that extra time in to get done what needs to be done we just want to make sure that we're got ourselves together and we're stable and we're able to receive all of these blessings father god we want to open our heart up to love father god we just like really really preparing ourselves for that very nurturing healthy just ever growing that everlasting love father god i know a lot of us have we thought we've experienced love but we haven't truly experienced that love love yet and we're just thankful for you know just you just opening up all pathways for us god the uh, father god to experience everything in our life that we have yet to explore so father god you know while we've been patiently waiting um we just been you know staying present in the blessings that we currently have before we get what we got coming forward to us so father god we just want to say thank you and give us the guidance that we need today for um april 2021 and just give us the guidance a little sprinkle of just you know some you know magical inspiration for just what we need to know every day for our blessing and our nourishment in jesus name amen amen and amen all right libra so this is what we want to do over here we got the general energy and career and finance section we're going to take one card from each one of these decks and over here we got love and we will take two from this deck so let's get into this let's see what we got going on and i just seen that creativity card and like when i was doing the pre-shuffle and stuff my i seen the word creativity so like I have a lot of keywords and stuff like that all over the place. And like my eyes kept following on the creativity when I was doing the pre-shuffle for you. So I don't know. You guys might be stepping into some type of creative endeavor. Alright, give me some guidance for Libra. Give me one card for Libra. And overall general energy, finance, and career for April. Thank you so much. Give me one card for you got the healer and then what what else was that and then you had the castle that was right up at the bottom i love this castle card 
I love this castle. So with this castle card, I just want to say that you guys have most definitely cleaned up your castle. I want to say y'all have been doing some redecorating and everything. Like y'all did some really fine uh, designing. You just feel, I don't know, like you... I always tell my friends, like, if you stressed and it's a lot of stuff going on and your mind just feels, like, bogged down with information and just feels a lot of pressure going on in your head, declutter your fucking house. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get some brighter light bulbs. Open up the windows. Let some natural light in. Like, change your curtains. Move a chair around or something. Actually move your furniture around. Get up under that bitch and sweep. Clean. You know what I'm saying? You know what, fuck it. Let me just go ahead and keep this card. But I just definitely feel like, and then under this, we got the lover's card. So I'm really liking where this is going so far. So, um, I feel like you guys have healed yourself through, like, getting your castle together. And I love the way that she got those little diamonds all over her, um, eyelashes and stuff like right above her eyelashes and everything like your makeup and everything is on point just your whole visionary your whole visual scheme of just where your life is right now you just feel comfortable you feel beautiful i feel like you're adorning yourself with a lot of the finer things in life just to make you feel beautiful and just to make you feel the very essence of abundance people pray for abundance but you don't understand you are abundant you know what i'm saying you are the walking definition in the essence of abundance it's about how you use your abundance you know if you want to be abundant in a negative way you could be abundant in a negative way if you want to be abundant in a prosperous beautiful way you could definitely be abundant in a prosperous beautiful way um i definitely understand that whatever phase that you went through your life i feel like it's definitely come full circle um I feel, like you 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 have some power and understanding why you went through that phase and right now it's like you're taking on the power of being able to create your own reality for what you really want it to be you are healed your castle is clean your castle has been reinvented everything has been finally polished everything is spanking brand new and i really do feel like you feel like a hundred bucks one two third time's the charm i definitely feel this one this one was the one daniel son so if you have definitely tried at something you've experienced it once it failed twice it failed the third time that's when you really get it because you needed that experience you needed that experience so i keep trying to tell people don't look at certain things that happen in your life as failures look at it as the experience that you need to be able to catch and capture the blessing that you were really preparing yourself for you were just really preparing yourself for your true blessing so be healed in knowing that you know you got to look at the bigger picture and it ain't what happened in the past it's about what's happening before you right now in this current future and it's about the way that you set everything up and i definitely feel like your arrangements the way you got everything arranged in your life is beautiful and i hope that y'all feel this beautiful i hope that your environment is this beautiful because this is truly truly <laughs> protection because the norman castles mean protection okay okay bitch i am reloaded let's keep it moving okay. Give me guidance here. This is the success oracles card. Give me guidance here for career, business, success. Uh, for my Libras. Thank you so much. I'm getting opal. I don't know if you guys are into like... Are y'all about to do them opal nails? I don't know. That's what I just got. Because <laughs> I know all my Libras. Y'all like some fly ass nails. <laughs> Listen. Are y'all getting that too? If y'all about to switch up and do like them opal nails. Y'all let me know. Y'all post. Y'all take me in some pictures. Y'all y'all know my uh uh Instagram is Scorpio Reds. I want to see y'all nails. Y'all tag me in some of y'all nail pictures because I'm definitely feeling like somebody is about to go get them opal nails done. And y'all about to influence me to get that shit. I think that's what I'm doing next. Next. I'm in it. Okay. So what did y'all get? J. Paul Getty. I'm serious because you know Getty, Getty Images. Fly as shit. A whole bunch of pictures and everything. Are y'all not getting this? A whole bunch of fly ass pictures and everything. Like, listen, everything going in circular motion. Yes. Okay. I, mm, I feel like things are coming back around again. 
things are coming back around again. And now I'm getting like, I'm getting someone's eye color. Why are they telling me someone's eye color changes in the summertime? Now, I've heard people say that their eyes do that, but I've never seen anyone. I've never known anyone personally that their eyes change in the seasons and stuff. But with this right here, I'm getting like someone's eye color changing in the summertime. Anyway, whatever. Maybe y'all getting contacts or something. Anyway, let me let it go. Let me let, 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 me let it go. Okay, so it says freebies don't build trust, but I'm going to throw this, I'm going to throw this at you, Libra. Now, Libra, now we needed to hear that now, 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 Libra, now, Libra, Libra, do I need to repeat that, Mr. Get, Mr. J, Mr. Getty, Mr. Getty, look, we got the clear picture, Mr. Getty, now, Mr. Getty, Mr. Getty, what you say again, Mr. Getty, freebies. Do not build for trust funds. A true friend splits the bill, even with a billionaire. Who I'm talking to right now, Libra? Who, who are we talking to right now? Who did this hit, Libra? Who did this Because some could listen. Akuna Matata. I don't know why I want to sing Akuna, Akuna Matata. <laughs> What a wonderful phrase, bitch. Fuck Akuna Matata, bitch. We ain't Akuna motherfucker Matata it at motherfucker um, at the steakhouse no more, bitch. You gonna run it up. I don't give a fuck how much money you think I got in the bank. Um, A good friend splits the bill, even with a millionaire. Fuck all this Akuna Matata and shit, bitch. Okay, listen. Freebies don't build trust funds, bitch. It says frugality in life. Generosity thereafter. All right? You got to be fruit. See, and, 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 and what I'm getting in that, and that's why I'm saying a castle of luxury, a castle of wealth, a castle of just with an ambiance of just togetherness, wealth, and love. Like, you can't have nothing if you don't know how to preserve for yourself. You can't continue to give, 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 Libra. Freebies do not build trust funds. Even a billionaire, even with a billionaire, a true friend splits the bill. Frugalty in life generosity afterwards we want to be able to pass down this luxury all of this beauty we want our kids we not our, just our kids our kids kids we want our lineage to be able to bear the fruits that we were able to witness in our life do you understand because once you plant these trees oh honey they live far beyond our life expectancy these trees baby okay they're able to give auction and substance to you, your kids, your kids, kids, your kids, kids, kids. And do you understand? So I feel like you being able to save and being able to reserve. And um, I really want to say set boundaries with certain people and truly look at a certain picture, the bigger picture. If you look at it now and curve your giving, curve your spending, curve that avenue that you keep going down where you feel like you have to. Here. I'll do it. Just get... No! Mm -mm, we're not doing that shit. We're not doing that shit. Oh, we're not doing that. My golly, we're not doing that. Mr. J. Paul Getty, I thought, ooh, can, can we get some respect to J. Paul Getty tonight? Can we give it to him? Give that man his fl Give that man his flowers. But can we get some flowers in the chat? Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Good Lord. Mr. Goddamn J. Paul Getty, you done came here and shook me up, honey. Okay, boy. <laughs> Woo, we are reloaded. Come on, Mr. Getty. What else we talking about? What is we talking about? Oh, we got the Herman now. Yeah, look, keep that money in your business to yourself. Keep it to yourself. It's for your health. Come on now. Come on now. We done had to go on in and take some time to ourselves and reevaluate a few things, okay? Now, are we in. in Do you see what I see, bitch? Okay, I'm trying to tell you I am seeing something. I am seeing something. Look, do you know, 
even my African opal, I have green African opal right here. This bit, it helps you with like stress and anxiety and things like that. It really does. I believe that that's one of the things that Opal helps you with. Y'all look that up for me to make sure that I'm not tripping. I want to say that it does. You know, I really want to say that it does. And if you pay attention, you see all of this green here. And you see a lot of green in those Opals. Green to me represents health, wealth. And self, honey, self love. You know, you know, that's that heart chakra re represents the self love. It's something about you guys seeing the light. You guys see the light. Oh, why she? But she got mushrooms. Are those mushrooms growing up? Why she got mushrooms growing near her feet? Hold on, I hope I ain't know y'all got no athlete's foot now. Don't we? Look. I hope y'all ain't got no athlete's foot. It look like some little fungus and shit down there by her feet. Look, y'all better go and get some little cream or something. Y'all need to go talk to y'all doctor about that. Don't be walking around with no athlete's foot now. Y'all know it's about to be toe season. It's about to be toe season. Y'all need to go get your toes together. Go and get them toes. Okay. I'm getting off free. I'm getting off frequency. Okay, I'm sorry. Now listen. This hermit card. Um and again. I'm sorry, I have to go back to that fungus. Because Fungus is like spores. It's like spores. I don't know. Like those little white things around. It's. I feel like those are spores. Like, I don't know if you walked in your yard. And like you kicked over a mushroom or something. And like the spores went everywhere. And the next thing you know. You just see mushrooms growing all over your motherfucking yard and shit. And when I see mushrooms growing in my yard. It freaks me the fuck out. I don't know. I think it's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. So with this hermit card. It. The Hermit card to me is about self-evaluation. And, and it can really have to do with your healthy state of your mindset. You know, listen, with a healthy mind and body, I raise my vibration and energy. Say it with me. With a healthy mind and body, I raise my mind's vibration. With a healthy mind and body, I raise my vibration Okay, and energy, whatever the hell I was saying. Pay attention to who you've been given to. Because it's something about once you kind of kick that energy off, it spreads like a fucking fungus. Are y'all following me? Because y'all know y'all like, where the fuck this bitch go up with shit? Let, pay attention to me. Get up. Pay attention. Okay? Pay attention because y'all know your hot headed shit. When you kick a goddamn mushroom in your yard, it spreads like fungus. It spreads those spores. It it goes over everything. It it would even travel miles down the street, those goddamn spores, and get all up in somebody else's shit. So pay attention to who you're giving to. Um, especially when it comes to your business. If you kick if you kick into action, handing shit out, giving freebies, always lowering your costs, always lowering your standard for certain people because they don't got money to pay for this. So you're not giving it the because like, let's keep it 100. If you're not willing to pay the full price, don't be mad if you don't get the full quality, baby, because you're not paying for it. And listen, as individuals, as hustlers, as business owners, motherfuckers got to put some respect on your name. Stop lowering your price. Stop lowering your fucking self for other people. If they're not willing to pay, if they're not, if you're, if you're not willing to pay to play, baby, I don't know what to say. Should we put that on a t-shirt? If you're not willing to pay to play, I don't know what to say. And that's on period. You got to listen to your inner thoughts. You got to listen to what your mind, your soul, your body is telling you. Because to me, with that fungus right there, it's like right there beneath your feet. You know, like how sometimes people be like, you're looking at something, you're looking for something. It's right there beneath your feet. It's right there. This one little action that you kicked into action, it just spread. It's like it spread the word like, um, I'm going to give you an example. And I don't mean to talk too much, but shit, this is my goddamn page. I don't give a shit. Listen, 
that's just like when I used to work at this one particular place. There was this um, silent spot called um, something greens. It's, it's like chopped, but it's called go greens or something greens or something greens, whatever the fuck it's called. But it's like chopped. You go there and get silence. And someone came up to the job and was like, look, y'all want a free salad? I was like, yeah. And it was like, look. I'm going to give you this dollar. Go in there. Order your salad, this, this, and that. Because they don't take cash. They only take cards in that store. So once they say something about, well, the um, you got to pay for the salad, pull this $10 bill out and try to pay for your salad. And then they're going to say that they can't take the cash. And then they're just going to give you the salad for free. And then when you come back in, just give me my $10 back. I was like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Child, me, I'm just not the type of person to do shit like that. Because I, look, I'm a business owner. Like, I, I don't mind paying $10 for a salad. It's not an issue for me. But the word spread, I mean, spread like fucking fungus through our whole business complex that... Only thing you got to do is go at Sweet Greens. Only thing you got to do is go in the Sweet Greens with cash and you going to walk away with a salad because they can only take fucking credit transactions in there. And then they ass got fucking hip. They got hit because everyone started doing it. It spread like fucking fungus because y'all kicked off that one customer, that one fucking customer that you gave a fucking freebie to. Now, everybody coming down there thinking that they ain't got to pay for a goddamn silent. Right? But this is your castle. You put all this love. You put all your energy. You put all of this designer custom finishings on your shit. Don't let nobody come down there and hustle. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Again, freebies don't build trust funds. A true friend spits the bill, even with the billionaire. Frugality in life generates generosity in the afterlife. So the more that you save now, you protect your lineage in the future. Don't be so goddamn given. I definitely feel like you guys should be healed from that right now. I feel like you guys should have learned. Or you with this hermit right here. That's probably why you are... Um, Oh, and they just said, you're not letting nobody know what's in your bag. You see that she got her little purse right there. Like, I feel like you just went and got you a new designer purse. And I, I am getting the urge to tell you guys to curtail your spending. Because frugality in life, generosity thereafter. The more you save, the more you'll have. Because, again, I'm getting someone that likes nails, makeup, beautiful shit, custom shit. Watch your spending. Watch your spending and watch who you spending on. That's what the Lord is trying to have you go inside and fix and understand at this moment. It's like God is basically leading you to the light so, so that you can see something so that things can regenerate for you. It's like a constant regeneration, a constant accumulation of wealth for you because you've learned this lesson because you really, you know, decided for yourself that I'm past this stage. Like, you know what I'm saying? I understand what God was trying to teach me in this sense. Okay, no, I'm not taking one card, please. Yes, okay. Yes, and then y'all are saying to me, like, yes, I need to be more frugal. Yes, I need to be more frugal. I know. <laughs> I know. And it, it, like, literally, like, telling me right now. It, it, it did spread like fungus. It's like everybody just coming to you and all of this stuff like that. Like, someone put out a goddamn word or something. Oh, come to Libra. Like, no, don't come to fucking me. It says career change. Mm. I feel like some of you guys are scared to change your career because it came in the reverse. Um, I think that you need to go ahead and take this opportunity because I feel like right now is like the perfect time to change your career because um, everyone's been sitting and it's been safe at home and been able to really have idle time to recreate and regenerate and re like to orchestrate something different in their life. 
You can create your own sound. You can create your own music. You create your own work. Your own vision of what your life needs to be. Don't be scared to take a chance on yourself. You know, operate in the mindset of the vision that you see for yourself. Like if you want to be that, you can become that little bit by little bit every day. Just taking one step every little day to make little changes in your life to get you closer and closer to like what this new dream is for yourself. I definitely see with this career change, it, with this career change in the hermit. You see how both of them have that light source right there? Both of these cards have a light source. There's an inner light source, but then there's also like an outer light source. It's something that's calling to you. Like a moth to the flame, you know? You know how insects, they are attracted to the light. They they gravitate to the light source. Um, and I'm not saying that nobody's an insect, but I'm just saying like there's a light source that you see and I definitely see you walking towards and you taking that path because um, you desire to be more of this inner light whatever this inner desire is of yours you're starting to see it emanate outside of you and you like that's that light that's that spark that's that energy that I be feeling inside of me when I be thinking about this when I be doing this and this 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 and that I gotta chase that I definitely feel like someone is like you're going to gravitate to something different it's going to take you by surprise but you can't stop it it's like a pull it's a gravity pull towards a new direction it's going to change your life and it's definitely going to change your career and when you see it when you feel it you're going to know, and that's why that Herman is there. Because you're going to have to have a talk to yourself, and you will be like, that's it. That's what God was talking about. That's that, and that's that inner me. That's it. And I can't stop it. I got to do this. It's, it's something that you got to do. You have to do it. You are embarking upon a career that brings joy and abundance that you desire and deserve. Y'all see that? Joy and abundance that you desire and you deserve in the name of Jesus. Shalala. Hello. Come on, Father God. Bring it on in. And then I just realized, do you see how that angel is up there at that light? Do y'all see that? Child, listen. It's like y'all are just following this right here. It's like y'all are following your gut feeling. It's like you're following your gut. It's like you're finally listening to yourself. And it's like that's your only guide. Like because God is that inner voice inside. You know what I'm saying? You know that that's, you know that that's who's guiding you. Finally listening to that voice. And beautifying the fuck out of yourself. Like, I'm sorry. Like, hello. Can I just give y'all flowers, please? Because y'all bitches is beautiful. I'm sorry. <laughs> y'all do me, honey. And I ain't even seen you yet. But I just know, honey. You ain't got to tell me nothing. And then you got a trip to the country. And then you got the full. Okay. We'll help if you don't drop the damn card. Now, won't it? Now, won't it? Okay. You got the four of clubs. A trip to the country. Now this is a very good card. Because this means like things are like very secure. Very secure in regards to like business. Like you guys could be getting in. I want to say like you guys could get in like a new sense of stability or something. But you might have to like travel a little distance uh, to get it. Like I don't know if you guys like have a. Uh, a metro system what we call it the metro public transportation system like you might have to get on the train or something like that I feel like you may have a riding partner or somebody that you meet like on the train or whatever and y'all um, like catch the bus or catch a ride to work or something like that and you just 
meeting somebody. And then you say the 33 right here. So, like, that's definitely telling me, like, expansion and, like, creativity and work. Because I'm definitely getting the three of pentacles right here. Like, I'm getting the three going into the four of pentacles. So, I don't know if you guys were training for something. Like, you guys just passed the test for a new job. Like, you're going to, like, a new training center or something. I, I don't know. I'm getting, like, a, a new desk. A new operating, they're like a new, like you're learning like a new operating system or something like that. I'm definitely like getting someone going to like a new training site or something. Let me see here. Let me see what the four of clubs says. Let me see the four of clubs. The four of clubs. Four clubs means stability in business matters, reliable social contacts, uh, practical foundation, stable conditions, laying the foundation for future progress, a stable business environment, using good business sense, the four walls of a business or building or room, the four legs of the table, a work table or social table. Uh, the four wheels of a vehicle, a coach, a car, a truck, a car, a baby carriage, or a trip by car, a verbal communication, a phone call, a voice message, or a video chat. So again, I definitely feel like this has something to do with like career expansion and stability. And I sure I do. I feel like this has something to do with like some type of formal training for some type of job it's like to further your experience and i definitely see like you were taking like these are people that you don't know or something that you met i don't know if y'all catch the train or the bus to get out here for this training but i feel like it's just for a training class but like i feel like you're meeting new people and it's like a very rewarding conversation it's 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 like a a rewarding exchange it's like we're all doing something to brighten our future this class or whatever i'm doing um is going to further my career and you're meeting people that are on that same path with you you get what i'm saying so i feel like there's a separation between you and I feel like there's a separation between the picture of where you see yourself and the generosity and the love and the experience and the newness that you're trying to bring into your life, the change that you're trying to bring into your life, and the old picture. I feel like you're done with the old picture. You are most definitely following this inner life, this this inner light, this inner voice. Um... I feel like the old picture, it doesn't fit a certain standard for you. And I, 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 you're investing in yourself. You're in, even willing to make the change, the movement, um, do whatever that you need to promote growth and to, you know, to further and promote um, just positive endeavors in your life. Let's get guidance and love. Give me guidance and love. Give me two cards for Virgo. I mean, child Virgo. For Libra. What is this? You got you deserve love. Alright. You are lovable. I just heard because like I'm looking at this and I just heard pay attention to who's looking at you because I'm serious. It's like you're on this bus or this train or whatever and you turn around and you feel like this dude looking at you. And I definitely feel like you are on your way to work, on your way to training, on your way to do something that you're supposed to be doing because that's the plan that's along the path where your footsteps are supposed to be going. So it's like you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, but this person is just like talking to you. And it's like, ever you guys end up going to 
Because you see the 33 up there, I definitely feel like you guys, it's like y'all both major in communication. You, it's like you, got, you guys both have the same college major, have the same interests. Um, it's something that you, it's a mutual thing that you guys have where you get along with each other well. And you can learn things from each other. And I want to say it's like a very dynamic, very innocent exchange. It's just like literally on your way to work, on your way to college or something like that. And then it says release your ex. And shit, that shit was falling down. Shit, look, look, falling down, okay? So I guess like the need or... I feel like like I feel like it's slowly falling away. Like it's drifting away. You deserve love, but it's not it's not love that comes from anything in your past. Like that's why I want you to like focus on changing your life. And again, Libra, do not give to motherfuckers that do not give to you that constantly have their hand out, that constantly think that just because you are okay for yourself that it's okay for them to live and leech off of you. Fuck that shit, Libra. You already know how I am about that. Y'all already know, and if y'all new to my page, listen, I cuss and pray God love me. He already know what he doing with me. And listen, if as long as y'all on the ride, we gonna be okay. Listen, let that shit go. Like, you deserve love. You deserve something better. If you still tripping on some bullshit with your ex, you still teeter-tottering and tip-tapping across his goddamn floor. Listen, keep on when your ass slip and fall. Don't come and run over here to me and be like, friends. I'm like, uh-uh. Bitch, you wanted to be over there, didn't you? Didn't I tell you little motherfucker alone? Okay, I'm going to hear this shit. Y'all already know how I am. I don't want to hear it. Now, I'm going to tell you one time. I'm going to tell you for the last time, Libra. Release what God does not want for you so that he can replace it with something that you're more deserving of. Like, I promise you, you will not regret it. Trust the journey that God has for you. You got to trust it. If you got any doubt, if you have nervousness, you telling God, I don't really believe that you got something better for me. And God going to say, okay, well, keep dealing with the fuck what you're dealing with. You don't trust me to fucking go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to be having those type of conversations with God. If God tells you to let it go, let it go. Listen, you deserve true love. Stop keep thinking y'all going to go back and y'all going to keep praying over some shit. Listen, God ain't never told you to use prayer, but God told you to use prayer for the right things. Don't keep praying to God that he going to fix some shit and you get mad at him because he ain't like, he don't want you to have it, okay? Let the motherfucker go, okay? Focus on your work. Listen to your inner God. Focus on your castle. Your castle. Your castle, okay? You don't went through this one, two, third times the charm. Right now, you're in the archetype of the healer. The healer. And again, that eye, I don't know if your eyes are changing colors. Is, is something changing your eyes or something? Okay, hello? <laughs> but I definitely feel like you're starting to see. Clarify you deserve love. And you got the princess of torches in the reverse. They're saying stop and look at where you're going. <gasps> Excuse me, stop and look at where you're going. Don't be reckless. Don't be so fast to move into things. Don't be so fast to, to, to look. Just look where you're going. Do you understand what I'm saying, Libra? Because I want to say, like, with this card, with this princess of torches in the reverse, it's like you get into things too quickly. And I want to say it's like you could be using your beauty for the wrong things. And, and I, okay. Let me rephrase this to say it in a way. Because I don't want y'all to take this the wrong way. You're a very beautiful person. But you're so more beautiful in the inside than you are on the outside. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like that inner beauty speaks more volumes than what you wear. How beautiful your hair is. Your aesthetics. Like we get that. We know you're a badass bitch. You understand what I'm saying? But it's about... 
you be it with someone that truly is taking the time out to see more of that inner beauty than just like, okay, yeah, I'm with so-and-so, she's beautiful, or he's very attractive, and this, this, and that, and you're not looking at the inner core of the person. So, if it's not you having to make sure that you're connecting, because you are lovable, but... You need to make sure that you're connecting with people that are really in search of that love more than the aesthetic. And I don't know if that's a message for you and the people that you're dating or for you yourself. You need to be more attracted and don't move so quickly with people because you'll be having them running in and out, in and out all motherfucking summer making unnecessary mistakes you know what i'm saying and it's not necessary mistakes it's just because i don't think that you regret anything it's just like i don't want that that's not what i wanted you know what i'm saying but we ain't trying to be getting no unnecessary bodies neither god damn it hello okay hello hello libra hello so what i'm saying is it's like it's more about the charm and the generosity and that inner want from the person more than what he or she looks like. Could look amazing, but it could be a rotten piece of shit on the inside. And you don't want to keep going through those rotten apples until you really get a good one. You know what I'm saying? Or really catch on that I, I, I truly deserve something. And a lot of it has to do with, I feel like you guys may be chasing. It's like someone could be looking for someone to fill their ex's shoes. It's like, you may be attracting uh, carbon copies of a past energy because you will not release that past energy. You know? So it's like, all right. I'm over, I'm saying I'm over my ex, right? But then I'll go and date someone that looks just like him. Or I'll go and date someone that's like a, or a colleague or a friend or someone in this person's inner circle or just, y'all y'all get what I'm saying. And sometimes it don't necessarily have to be a look thing. It could just be still being caught up on the same energy and the same lifestyle that got you in your past situation in the first place. And now you're doing the same shit and you are accepting the same, you know what I'm saying, fate. Which is quickly going to start quick and it's going to end quicker. And that's not what you want. That's not what you want. So something about this, this X energy, I don't know if it's, I feel like it's the type of people that you're attracted to. I don't necessarily even think it's the ex itself. But you could be comparing people to your ex. You could be not even giving people a fair chance because you're just like, ugh, they don't act like they don't wear the cologne and uh, they don't dress like this person. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And it's like... <laughs> Not being satisfied, so it's just like in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. You could be dating a lot of people, but it's just not satisfied with you. And I don't want y'all to look up and y'all don't went through a couple bodies this goddamn summer. So listen, give me one more. What is this? This is the Ten of Cups. I'm going to go ahead and take that, but I need to take this other card too because I need to see what this is talking about. The seven of torches in the reverse. So, again, we I just told you the princess of torches, right? So, with this ten of cups, it, I feel like, and I'm going to be honest, you guys want love, you deserve love, you're reaching for love. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like the need to drop this inner conflict within yourself. Um, I don't know if you guys are still getting caught off guard, having to answer questions to people about shit that happened in your past or people is coming to you 
with gossip or information. Shit, I feel like it's stuff that you really didn't want to receive. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if, like, your ex is in a loving relationship with someone else and this motherfucker just got married or something like that. Um, I don't know. It's like, I don't know why I'm feeling like that. I don't necessarily feel like the information hurts you, but I feel like it's something where um, <clears throat> someone is still holding on still holding on because the princess of torches in the reverse like she could be someone that's reckless uh, either reckless at the mouth or just a reckless energy um, because it's like I'm kind of getting like uh, very beautiful all of that but if it's not this, if you're not giving me what I had or what I want, I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> I don't know. It's like, if it's not the full ten of cups, it's just like you'll throw it away. Because I want to, I still feel like someone is comparing someone to someone else. And you cannot... And people could be getting caught off guard as well because it's like I could be coming to you and you're beautiful and everything, but it's like something just isn't working. I don't know if this is someone that is like, it's like I have a quick tempered about not having the full ten of cups in every situation. Being caught off guard with some level of conflict or something it's like something just isn't gelling but it's like i want this so bad and it's just like i'm just uh, it's not satisfying me so i'm just throwing this shit away i want the ten of cups I, I don't you know um i feel like it's like a difficult attitude it's like a difficult attitude i don't know why i'm getting a difficult attitude I don't know why I'm getting a difficult attitude. Let me see what else is going on. There's the there, okay. You deserve love. It's this difficult attitude because it's like someone is still fantasizing about this. When someone was together having this humble abode and, and all of this stuff. I want to say it's like a dream. It's like a fantasy or something. But it just keeps being blown away. Like it keeps like I want to say like every time someone is like goes in, comes out, goes in, come out. It'd be cool for a little bit. We'll have like maybe 10 days of a loving a uh, perfect life with each other. And then next thing you know, just boom. It's just like, you know. Here come the bullshit. Here come the, the 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 drama, and it's like you just need to be done with it, bro. Like, and it's like really give other people a standing chance. Like you can't keep you can't keep holding on to some type of fantasy or something like that. Or allowing your feelings about someone else had moved on. Make it so that you're not physically present in what you got going on because it's not fitting the mold of what you had in the past. This is too much. I'm not see look got the mirror in the reverse. Like you gotta stop looking at the past. You got you gotta stop looking at that shit. Because I feel like whatever was in the past was negative. You want true love. You don't want any of that bullshit, all that drama and bullshit. Because the seven of wands in the reverse, that's drama. Like, that's like something that you need to avoid, like, on a serious level. Like, that's not something that you should be inviting into your life, like, waiting and, and, and anticipating. And, like, no. I knew it was something. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. You really need to be open to new experiences. And I really do feel like someone really needs to get off of the bullshit or whatever it is with this ex. And just let that go and allow new shit to come to you. I cannot. Like, please, just two cards, please. 
Okay, look. We got one. You got the soulmates. And then you got the engagement ring. So. And that was it. Yes, those were the only cards that came out. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to take that. I'm just going to let it go. You got the soulmates and the engagement ring. But the, no, I got to take it. Cause, and then you got the, soul, the separation. So, I want to take it like you guys. I want to say some people were engaged for a long time. And I want to say that you guys could have known each other for a long time. And then someone that's having a hard time dealing with the separation. I want to say things just keep coming up. It's like you guys keep trying to put it back together. You keep trying to put it back together. Because I want to say with this Princess of Torches in the reverse with the soulmates. It's like you keep running back to it. It's like an in and out, in and out, in and out. It Again, I don't even think that you got... It, it's, it, it's a good duration of time in between now. Between when y'all get together and y'all break back up. Like, y'all y'all might have a good 10 days. Like I said, again, a good 10 days. And it feel real good. And it's like, oh, we're going to get married. And we're going to put our family back together. And we're soulmates. And blah, blah, blah. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And then boom. Like, like. To be predicted, y'all get to start arguing and fussing again. Motherfuckers start accusing people of shit. And it's just like, we were good a second ago. Shit was just good just a week ago. Like, shit was just good just a week ago. What the fuck? Now we back at square one again and ground zero again. Like, fuck this shit. I'm just... It's... Uh, my question, are y'all exhausted yet? Are you exhausted yet? I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Like, y'all probably did this like 10 times over. How much more can you take before you realize that you just need to let it go? It's just another love TKO. <laughs> For real. Like, mm -mm. clarify this love situation. For Libra, for April. Give me two cards, please. Oh shit, I guess three. I've been getting three this whole damn time. The two of pentacles in the reverse. Again, it's like it's not giving. It's something that is like taking your freedom. It's like it's a dilapidated energy. It's something that um again you would never receive your investment back. Never. Never. It's something that'll suck you dry. It's like a, I, I am getting like a succubus. Like they're saying a succubus. Jesus. And, and I'm going back to the Getty image. Like please pay attention to the picture. Freebies do not build trust funds. What is this? The two of pentacles in the reverse? No. This is something that is not receiving any type of a turn. This is like... I want to say, like, even when it's, it's something about this energy, like, every time people around it, like, you lose everything. Do y'all notice that? That you lose everything? It's like a seesaw. Like, when, <laughs> look, I see and I saw, bitch. Look, I seen it, I seen my blessings, and then I saw it, bitch. The shit was gone, okay? Seesaw, okay, man? <laughs> I see in the saw and it was gone, bitch. Okay? Okay? Bitch, I'm reloaded. Like, you have to stop putting yourself in this up and down, up and down, up and down frequency with this person. And with this, like, you got to. And I don't I don't know if this person is around you physically or if it's just mentally. You are, No, this is an emotion. This is a physical and emotional battle with the cups and the wands. This is my, it's not no mental thing because if it was mental, it would be... Uh, swords out here. This is something that you are physically still doing and emotionally still putting up with. And once you decide that you deserve love and that you stop voluntarily, you can't blame because I, y'all know, I'm not gonna play this shit with y'all. 
We not gonna have no uh, 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 professional victims over here. Ain't none of y'all you victims of your own bullshit, and y'all gonna have to put on your big girl panties when y'all come to my page, okay? Cause y'all not gonna grow. You're not going to heal, and you're not going to get to what you want if we don't have these big girl and these big boy conversations. We are not in the arena of pacifying professional victims. You can't keep doing the same thing. Going somewhere, thinking that you're going to receive this fantasy. We're just going to have this humble abode. We're going to get married. And you know, ten times over, God has shown you that this is not going to work out. If you keep doing the same shit, expecting different results, that's the definition of insanity. Release your ex. You deserve love. You have to stop doing this. You have to stop monkeying and seesawing your ass around. You're the one that's losing everything. This motherfucker get their nothing gone. Last card. You got the Empress card. And then you got something else up under there. Let's see what we're doing here. And then the seven of challenges. Once you realize how beautiful you are. How beautiful you are. You could create whatever the fuck you want to. You are the captain of your own ship. You are the master of your own destiny, baby. And once you see that within yourself. You can have anything that you want in the world. But you got to look inside of yourself. That's that seven of cups. You can't just get glamorized by all of these options. Because everything that glitter ain't gold. The empress, she knows about the dark. She knows about the light. She understands the life cycles. And sometimes things that we created... We got to destroy it in order for new life to be regenerated. So you may have created this a long time ago. But with that Empress energy, you have the right to let certain things die out so that you can have new options. And really go inside. Because the Seven of Cups is like, that's like the Hermit card. What do you want? What do you truly want? And think long and hard. Because once you make that selection, you stuck with it. You stuck with your choice. So if you, again, make the same option and you don't see your own beauty, you don't see your own inner work, you don't see your own light. And you keep doing this. You don't have nobody to blame but yourself. Don't let nobody seesaw and monkey you around. Don't do it to yourself. Because a lot of this shit is self-inflicted. Ain't nobody make you do a damn thing. You decided that that's what you wanted. You thought that that was what was going to make you happy. But I don't think that that's God's plan for you. This conversation being right now. Is for the sole purpose of you understanding how beautiful and how deserving that you are of something better. And sometimes God got to strip you down bare. I mean strip you bare. And like I said, every time you're around this motherfucker, you end up with nothing. Sometimes we got to be stripped bare. In order to start in. Start over. And then be given a new set of options. So I don't know whose message this was for. Whose message, especially this side over here. But y'all heard, y'all heard me. Y'all heard me. Message, I gotta go. Libra, I love you. Sorry this was a long video, but y'all know how I do. We do what we do over here. Peace.